Yo, what's going on guys? I'm Dad Young Bull, and in today's video, I'm going to be teaching you how to set up your HD PVR, especially if you're a Mac user, with special information that you'll be able to find anywhere else online. So make sure you watch it from start to finish, that way you guys don't miss any tips so you know how to set up your HD PVR with the best quality as possible. So the first thing you're going to want to do is go to hopog.com, which you can see I'm highlighting now. Next thing is to go to the online web store. Once you get there, click on the picture of the HD PVR. Then you're going to want to scroll down and click on add to shopping cart. Then you can proceed to check out and purchase. Now when you get your HD PVR, once you open it up, you're going to see that there's a lot of different cords and inputs and all sorts of stuff in the box. You're only going to need a few of those items, which you will see right now. These are the four things you're going to get standard with your HD PVR, which you're going to need to use. The power adapter, the USB cable, the HD component cables, and the HD PVR itself. Also, there's going to be an installation disk, but you only need to use that if you're using the Windows operating system. If you're using a Mac, I'll show you what you need to do with that later in this video. You will not need the installation disk. Apart from the four things I just showed you, which come standard when you purchase an HD PVR, you're also going to have to buy the appropriate HD component cable for whichever system you're recording on. As you can see, there's component cables here, and I'm also going to show you how to hook this cord up with your HD PVR. When you're setting up your component cables, you can clearly see on the back of the PVR, you have the out and the in. For the out, you're going to take the HD component cable, which comes standard with the HD PVR, and you're going to match up these colors with the same colors of the ports on the back of the HD PVR. Next, you're going to take the HD component cable, which you purchased for your appropriate system, and then plug that into the bottom row. You're going to take the other end of the cables, which came standard with your HD PVR, the same end that's plugged into here, you're going to take this end and then plug it into the back of your TV into the appropriate color designated ports. When you're done, the cord should be set up like this. The top row is the cord that comes standard with the HD PVR, and the bottom row is the cord which you bought separately for your system. Now, as I said previously, if you're a Mac user, you won't be using the installation disk, which comes with the HD PVR. You're going to have to go to a website, which I'll show you in the following clip, and download the demo version of HD PVR Capture. In order to unlock the full version, you have to pay a $30 fee, and provide an email address, and they will send you a code, which you will enter into HD PVR Capture, the app on your computer, which will unlock the full version. I'll show you how to do all that right now. The first thing you want to do is go to hdpvrcapture.com slash cms slash, then go to demo, download the most recent version of the demo. Next thing you're going to do is go to purchase. This is where you can see the price, which is $29.95. You're going to scroll down, put in the serial number of your hop hog, and then buy. Now that you have everything registered, I'm going to show you the next step. When you plug in your HD PVR, as you can see in the top left, the serial number will pop up. Right now, mine isn't plugged in. On this page, you don't need to edit anything or on the next page. So once you get to the audio encoder page, you only need to work on one thing. Perform post-processing? Yes. That'll make it so the files are actually usable. When you get to these options, just leave at the default to channel AAC. Other than that, nothing needs to be edited besides the browse, which will change the destiny of the save files. Now I want to show you what you guys need to actually do in order to make this work. First you're going to go to display settings, video output settings. You're going to choose component slash D terminal. Press over, then choose the resolution that your TV can support. Highest the better. Then you're going to go to audio settings. You're going to want to choose audio input connector. None of the others will work. And then you're going to press X. Now you're ready to go and you're recording audio and visual. Well guys, I think that's pretty much all the information you guys are going to need to set up your HD PVR on either a Mac or Windows. You know, Mac is a little more complicated, but hopefully I was able to get that information across in a very easy way to understand. And if you have any other questions, make sure to leave it in the comments, and I'll be responding to those to try to help you guys out. But anyways, if you enjoyed this video, please make sure to give it a like. If you loved it, go ahead and favorite it. And most importantly, please feel free to subscribe and pin me to your YouTube homepage. That way you can stay up to date with everything else I'm doing on YouTube. It's been your boy, Day Bull. Have a great day. Peace. And in front of the whole school, I had flowers and I had my whole little spiel. I got down on one knee, pointed the flowers at the camera, and then asked this girl to prom. Now, this had never been done in my school.